I've always loved landscape art. I like the way it makes me feel, you know? The way you can look at a picture of a lone man in a vast field, looking towards the distant clouds. It makes me feel something. I can't take my eyes off of it. And my wish is to make a drawing that really pulls you in. But for now, let's learn how to draw rocks. When it comes to learning something new, I have a process that has worked well for me. Firstly, I like to watch one or two tutorials to gain a basic understanding of the subject. Secondly, I find various images of it on Pinterest or Google and then I repeatedly study those images. Break the object down into simple shapes, learn how it handles different lighting, how it looks in nature, etc. I try and do this until I get good at it. And today, we are learning the way of rock. This is a thing that I have struggled with for quite some time, especially drawing from imagination. That means I do not have a rock section in my visual library. But I'm excited to share with you my progress for learning the skill and offer some tips along the way. Alright, let's begin. I began by watching two videos on drawing and painting rocks. I tried to pay attention and watch actively. I picked up on a few major tips for drawing rocks from imagination. First one was breaking down a big shape into smaller shapes. So I'm gonna be breaking all of this down into smaller shapes and all sorts of crazy cracks and whatnot. Secondly, to make every line connected, no floating lines. Uh, just make sure every line is connected to another. It's like a glorified game of connected dots. Next up, variation of shapes, including thick lines, thin lines, big shapes, and small shapes. Make sure to keep a nice variation of small, medium, and large shapes. Additionally, erasing borders to form 3D shapes. Erase certain areas of this perfect circle. So the areas where the cracks meet with the outer border of the circle, I'm gonna erase them. Finally, randomness. I'm not too worried about screwing up and I actually try to make my pin movements kind of random. After watching these videos, I put them into practice. Here's a little speed paint of me drawing using the formation techniques. I like the fact that I got the basic idea on how to draw and paint the different rocks and boulders. When drawing something relatively new, remember that you're learning and making mistakes is absolutely normal. It took me a few tries to draw these rocks successfully. And here are the finished results. Now it's phase three. Here you can see as I'm drawing from reference. The first rock had really interesting patterns, so I studied that. The second one is quite simple, but I imagine these types of rocks I'll be drawing the most often. I'm quite happy with how this one came out. I've got this texture blender that works wonderfully with this type of rock. I think I got it from Devin L. Kurtz's brush set. The moss turned out pretty good too. Overall, I dig the texture, I like it. Then I did some reference drawing from other people's art, which also turned out quite cool. And now I had to show I could put this newfound knowledge into use. So I thought I'd create a few illustrations with rocks being the focal point of each one. Let's begin with the lighthouse. The composition of this drawing was quite simple actually, and as you can see in the speed paint itself, I'm putting most of the effort into the different details of the mountain. I was going for kind of a Ghibli look too, and boom, we got the finished result. Next up, we've got the Sky Islands. I've got a bit more to say about this one as I actually recorded the process. I found a very cool picture on Pinterest by Jake Parker of floating islands and used it as reference to create this piece. I started off with a sketch, then naturally went onwards to draw the line art. By the way, pro tip, textured ink brushes are very sexy. I then made separate value layers for each island, so the closest one is the darkest, while the one furthest away is the brightest. I decided on a color scheme, which in this case was yellow, green, and blue, basically day colors, and began coloring each island. I always look at references when drawing or painting things that I'm not very good at. Only by copying other people's techniques can you grow and develop as an artist. Einstein has been quoted in saying, The secret to creativity is knowing how to hide your sources. Well, allegedly. <laughs> I finished up the drawing by adding a blue multiply layer and also cool clouds and little white birds. And so I believe I accomplished my goal of learning how to draw rocks. I can now even draw boulders and mountains. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And well, have a nice day.